how Startup Genome has ranked Chennai 18th in the Asian global startup scene. In fact, Tamil Nadu's startup ecosystem has generated $27.4 billion from July 1st, 2021 to December 31st, 2023. A registered startup surged from 2,300 to 8,500 in three years. This after, Tamil Nadu established an exclusive department called Startup Tamil Nadu in 2022 to act as a bridge between investors and entrepreneurs, that is. Now, this particular establishment helps aspiring entrepreneurs with mentorship and official registration of their companies. All right, for the moment, we'd have to of course, tell you about the basics as far as this is concerned. But since we continue to track this, let's tell you, while talking to Mira now, Startup Tamil Nadu's mission director, Sivara Ramanathan, said Tamil Nadu is a manufacturing hub and our primary focus is to support innovative ideas in IT and manufacturing sectors with resources. Let's listen in. And joining us now for a quick conversation about this is Mr. Shivraj Ranganathan, a mission director of Tamil Nadu Startup and Innovation Mission. So this is definitely a very good news for Chennai. 18th spot in the uh, Asian uh, scene, how do you look at it? Yeah, it's a um, good thing, you know, when you see uh, your state uh, is positioned at, you know, a prominent uh, position in the in a beyond the country like you know like asia after a person registers their company as a startup they approach you you find them resources you find them investors but what if a person is yet to register their company but they have an innovative idea and they need a right kind of mentorship before they go on and register it and they proceed with that so does startup can provide any kind of mentorship uh, uh, programs awareness program it's a real good question so last year uh, 2023 uh, our honorable chief minister uh, released uh, our you know new startup policy. So this startup policy, we uh, we have come out with a uh, different uh, definition for such kind of companies. Uh, maybe an individuals or a group of uh, friends they have started some idea, but they don't have a structured company or something like that. But they are working around that idea. So we call them a start step. So we are launching a special uh, smart card. This card will be given to all the startups as well as to start steps. So the start steps will be uh, given access to you know like various incubators so like we are trying to wherever we have this gap say for example investment ecosystem people are saying that uh, you know bangalore uh, has more uh, investors mm -hmm. mumbai being the capital i mean financial capital city they have uh, more access delhi being the national capital they also have more uh, more access but we are coming next to these uh, three cities now mira now also spoke to young minds who are currently building their respective startup ideas who expressed hope in the way the startup ecosystem in Chennai has been evolving. Let's listen in to those young minds. Uh, we have two students of IIT Madras joining us for a quick conversation. So we're given to understand that both of them, they have uh, their own startup ideas which they're currently working on and we'll try to understand more about it. So talking about your idea, what is it about and how has it got evolved in the last uh, you know, few years since you started working on it? So, hello, my name is Sarthak Saurav. I'm a current final student at IIT Madras. So, I've been working on an AI-based additive manufacturing platform. So, basically, 3D printing uh, is a very uh, rapidly growing field. where we got a lot of exposure in terms of uh, talking to people, getting to know about other companies in, let's say, Startup Tamil Nadu or other spaces who are involved in the specific field. And then getting to know more about them and talking to them, we figured out how to move forward. In the, big, in the bigger picture, mm. how do you uh, think the startup ecosystem has evolved uh, during your time in Chennai? How, how is the experience being? So, uh, in my experience, like people are more open to, let's say if I go to a company, lending company and say that this is what I'm building, people are now more open to adopting new tools and like trying out what this can do, 